Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Lloyd and I am a huge fan of cars used in old British TV series filmed between the late 1950s and late 1990s. Join me on a journey as we look back on over 40 years of British television and its relationship with the automobile. I made a selection of videos last year talking about a lot of these series and I'm doing it again to make them even better. Dolly, Linda, Shirley and Bella have pulled off the robbery. Linda and Bella have already flown to Brazil, leaving the other two to join them with some of the money. However, Dolly and Shirley still have to get out of the country and through the customs at Rio. A terrible thought keeps returning to Dolly. Could it be true? Is it possible that Harry didn't die with the other men? Inspector Resnick, who resigned from the force because no one believed him, is determined to see the case through. First of all, I apologise to the light levels um, in the car today. There's not an awful lot I can do about it, but we'll just have to cope as we go along. So today we're looking at Widows and Widows 2. Widows was a mini-series made by Euston Films, part of Thames Television, in 1983. Its sequel, Widows 2, came out in 1985. A lot of the same people who worked on shows like Minder and The Sweeney, uh, worked on Widows. Um, Linda LaPlante herself, the writer of Widows and Widows 2, had appeared in the Sweeney under a slightly different name. The producer of um, Widows, or executive producer I should say, is Verity Lambert, and the director of um, the first series of Widows was Ian Toynton, who also worked on Minder. The premise of Widows is that um, there are four different widows who lose their um, husbands in a raid that goes on in the Kingsway Tunnel in Hoburn at the start of the series. They then decide to try to pull off the um, raid that they've been planning on doing after um, that one, um, before they got killed. They find some plans that Harry Rawlins... Um, Dolly Rawlins' husband is left behind and they find um, various things they can use to pull this raid off, um, guns and um, vans and things like that in a secret lockup. And it's about their um, journey as to pull this raid off and also the strange feeling that Dolly Rawlins has got that her husband might be still alive. Is he still alive? Well, you know, I think he probably is because he appears again in Widows 2 when they've successfully um, carried out the the raid and um, they've escaped um, to South, uh, South America, although it's actually Portugal um, they went to in um, Widows 2 in 1985. And um, Harry Rawlins is kind of still being a bit of a, be a bit of a menace and Again, they decide to try to pull um, something off. Um, Harry Rawlins is still being a bit of a pain. And it sort of all culminates in a bit of a massacre at a, um, a, f a fashion shoot at the end. And two of the four widows by the end of Widows 2 are actually dead. So, yeah, it doesn't particularly go so well for them that time. The main cast and Widows and Widows 2, um, I'll just read them from my sheet here because I always get confused about some of the names. Um, Anne Mitchell plays Dolly Rawlins, Maureen O'Farrell plays Linda Pirelli, Fiona Hendley um, plays Shirley Miller. Eva Motley played Bella O'Reilly in the first series, but she actually passed away for a drug overdose 
um, before the second series started filming, which is very sad. So Debbie Bishop replaced her for the second series, and then um, Morris O'Connell plays Harry Rawlins. There is a sequel to Widows and Widows 2 called She's Out, but we won't be covering that here. That um, was released in 1994, and it's quite a different type of series from Widows and Widows 2. Um, the main cars used in Widows are a 1980 Mercedes SL. I don't know what type of SL that is, unfortunately. But it's used a false plate in the series, so I don't know how old it is, other than that it's post-1980. Um, that's Dolly Rawlins' own car. Also in the first episode and in some of the subsequent ones, you see a 1973 Bedford CF van. It's SRO 597M. That's one of the, the vans that they are planning on using to carry out the second robbery. One of the cars that you see um, Harry Rawlins himself um, using, I think, or one of his gang. Um, it's a 1977 BMW 525 uh, VAG 325S. That appears in the third episode. Some of the times if I say it appears in one episode, it, it can appear more than one, but that's the main appearance of the car. There is also a common walkthrough van. There are actually two of those in the first episode of the series. There's a black one and a white one. This is the white one. It's a bit more distinct in terms of registration. AOM 455N. Um, there's a similar van that actually carries out... Um, the robbery at the at the end of the series, episode five, actually takes place, and then the consequences of episode six. One of the main cars you see, apart from Mercedes in Widows, is a nineteen seventy seven, or I think it's a seventy seven anyway. Again, false plates on it. Um, Fiesta Mark One, I, I think it's an L, so the brown colour. That car also appears in the second series. It's funny how, you know, the cars that they actually use in the um, the first series, which you think would be pretty hot property. They weren't using robbery or anything. Once they used to move around in, um, they actually again two of them are used in the in the second series as well with the same false plates on them. I don't know how that works, but there we go. One of the getaway vehicles they used from the robbery in the Kingsway Tunnel, because for some reason they decided to do pretty much the same robbery again. Although you think the police would be wise to it by then is a 1973 Ford Escort van. Um, they spray it a different colour, I think change the plates on it actually to, um, to, hide, um, to hide what they're doing, as far as I can recall. Um, let's get into as well um, some of the other cars that are used in the series. So in um, the first episode, you see a uh, lovely a facelift of Mark 1 Transit Security Van. I believe that's VBH 739N from 1975. There is a 1978 Ford Capri Mark 3. I think it's probably just an L. Um, it could possibly be, uh, be a GL, but I, I think it's probably just an L. Um, a red one, again, that does appear in the second series too. In the second episode, there is a 1982 Ford Cortina 1.6L, a very late one actually, um, which was 82, ALO36Y. Inspector Rennick, who is the person on um, on the hunt for Dolly Rawlins and the gang, uh, he drives a Vauxhall Cavalier Mark 1, not a very common car anymore really, a Mark 1 Cavalier, um, WLH472S. And then the last car that I'll mention to do with Widows 1 is a 1981 Ford Granada. I don't know what model that is. It's only used very briefly, but it's interesting because that's the last um, year for the pre-facelift Mark II Granada. And you can tell that allegedly because it's got a black wing mirror.
let's now move on to Widows 2. And the first uh, car we'll mention is something that they use when they're filming in Portugal. Um, it's supposed to be, I think it's Brazil actually, um, rather than just a generic South America, I think it's Brazil. Um, that's a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, which uh, looks quite a home there for some reason. Um, it's pretty good. Obviously the, uh, the same brown Fiesta that you see in the first series, also plays in the second series, same with the Capri. Uh, we've already talked about that, but I've put some photographs uh, for reference from the second series in there as well. There's also a Mark II Transit this time um, that's used somewhere around, I think, the uh, sort of robbery towards the end. You see that's like a pale blue one. Um, not that it's that exciting, but it's different from the Mark I Transit anyway. There is a nice post face of Mark II Granada. Um, I think Ford would have supplied that, judging by the plate. Uh, a41 on MHK, it's an 84 Ford Granada 2 litre. Now, one thing I don't actually know is whether we had cars in this country after the facelift in um, late 81. It was, it was supplied by the 2 litre Cologne V6 engine. Um, it was sort of a market, perhaps that's a Pinto, I don't know. Um, it looks like a Granada um, GL or LX to me, but I'm not going to speculate because I'm not the expert on these things. I know somebody here is though. Ford also did supply another press car, um, and it's actually Dolly Rawlins' main car in Widows 2. It's a 1984 Ford Fiesta 1.3 gear. Now, the plate, I'm told, is a false one, but it looks like a very convincing Ford fleet plate to me. Um, a 633OWC. Um, that car gets used an awful lot, and Ford didn't supply any cars, as far as I'm aware, for the first series, but they did for the second one. You also see a 1969 um, Jaguar XJ6 Series 1 in the first ep in the second episode, sorry. It's got an, a lovely false plate on it as well. So other cars used in Widows 2 are a 1980 Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit that's used in um, the, uh, the part of the episode shot in Portugal. There is a 1980 Rover 3500 SD1 um, that's driven by the love interest of Rolly Dolins or the one who wants to uh, um, actually uh, be become love interest of Rolly Dolins, uh, but he's played by an actor called Stephen Yardley. Um, that is KPE 935W. It's a pre phase of SD1. Another car they use in the scenes shot in Portugal is a 1974 Volkswagen Passat B1, an LS model. It's a three door Passat, actually, which um, you know, you'd never see a three door Passat these days, would you? One of the cars that actually has mo has more of a, a role in other series that you see in Widows 2 is a 1975 Walsley Saloon. That's the predecessor to Princess models. It was only made for about five or six months and it crops up in all kinds of series in the 70s and 80s. It's in The Professionals and it's in Faulty Towers. Um, it's JJT343N. There's not a lot of those around. Another car the, the police use in Widows 2 is a 1985 Vauxhall Cavalier L in the sixth episode of Widows 2, CLH-51Y. So, are Widows and Widows 2 worth watching in 2020? Yes, I think so. They're very, very strongly plotted. The world is very well depicted. Um, Linda LaPlante's very good at scripting them. Um, I might cover She's Out at some point if people are interested in that, although um, it's 90s cars and um, maybe they're not as interesting to, to some of you as 80s ones. The direction by Ian Torrington, particularly in the first series, is very, very strong. It, it's a very, very good miniseries that you, that you um, to, to watch these days. You can get it on 
DVD like I have, and um, yes, I definitely recommend it. Anyway, thanks ever so much indeed for watching this episode of Cars and Television. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Um, visit my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, and also my Instagram page, instagram.com forward slash Lloyd underscore vehicle underscore consulting. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.